Okay, I took another break and uh, put this back on here. Break over. Okay, let's see. Man, <laughs> trying to hold this properly in the uh, vacuum at the same time. Or, or, or not just vacuum at the same time, but you know, video journal what I'm doing. I don't, oh boy, <laughs> it takes some practice for those of us that are not, uh, you know, vide videographers uh, and photographers. Oh, oh, is that senor? Hi, senor. That's where you're hiding? Okay. Okie I'm not holding the third thing, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, some of us, well, I don't know, I, I speak for myself, um, I find vacuuming to be very therapeutic for me, some of you already know, I have uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, I've been diagnosed with, um, well, at first, as you said, um, shut stuff on it. I was diagnosed with a um, major depressive disorder. That was like in my 20s. Okay. And then, after what? After age 50, they changed my diagnosis from a major depressive disorder. Move my stuff. I dropped my stuff here. They moved my. They changed my. Uh, Diagnosis from a uh, yeah, they changed it from a um, major depressive disorder to uh, 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 bipolar disorder. Duh. Yeah, so that's the new, uh, I guess. Well, I guess it's not new. But it was new to me. I said I thought I, uh, they said I was being a, you know, better, a major depressive. It's oh, whatever. And uh, the psychiatrist, when I uh, was getting ready to look at applying for uh, disability, Well, even, no, no, I got diagnosed before, way before I, uh, I felt pain again because I was pressured by my therapist to, um, file for family, um, leave of, medical leave of absence so that I could do intensive therapy with her. Uh, when I was working for a place called um, Pathways for Boys in Mountain Home, Texas, um, boys who are um, 
you know, some of them are uh, CPS claims because they've been abused, they've been neglected, abandoned, whatever, have lots of, you know, family of origin dysfunction. And uh, the other half of the boys that were there when I worked there were not CPS uh, placements, but more of a uh, TEJC, I guess, Department, uh, Texas Department of uh, Juvenile Delinquency Justice or whatever, Criminal Justice. Anyway, um, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I see your stuff along the baseboard. I'll come back to you one more time after doing this part. I'll uh, use my whew, I'll use my credit tool one more time after this. But yeah, so I have um, you know, like I said, been, I've been ooh, formally diagnosed and. Uh, Yes, I've had, uh, you know, medication prescribed. I do not like taking any psychotropic drugs. Because I don't, you know, I'm not taking that kind of medication. And, uh, so, okay. Okay, this would probably be easier. Ugh. Taking that part off. So, whew. this can go under things better if it doesn't have the big tank on, on, on it. Get back up there on the bed. Get back up there on the couch. Get up there. Get up there. Hurry up. Get up there. Get up there. There you go. Out of the way. You don't like this, so oh, get out of the way. Okay. I'm not going to be able to hold this much longer. I know I'm not able to continue consistently hold it at the right angle because I I get busy focusing on looking at the floor, looking at what I'm doing trying to pick up and then the camera's going all over the place so uh, enough trying to photo journal for now back later